weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And of course, all the heat and the dry conditions over the last couple of months not helping with those fire conditions here in North Alabama. Officially saw a high of 96 today in Huntsville. Of course, that's just the air temperature. There's a look at the heat index over the last 12 hours and made it up to around 100, close to about 1 o'clock this afternoon with a peak value right around 103. Still hot, still dangerous conditions, but much lower than what we were seeing last work week, where we were seeing several days with heat index values right around 110, even slightly above 110. But you should still take it seriously, and I do expect to see maybe a few spots going above 105 for heat index by tomorrow, and it's your Wednesday. So take a look at this. This is a look at how hot and dry it's been so far this summer. And when I say summer, I'm going by meteorological summer, which starts on June 1st. So we're about, what, 55 days into meteorological summer. Right now, we're at the fourth warmest on record for Huntsville at the Huntsville International Airport, with records going back to the 1930s. And we've only seen just under 3.2 inches of rainfall. That makes that the fourth driest on record. So fourth warmest and fourth driest on record, 55 days into meteorological summer. So again, it's dry out there. Be careful. Again, if you're doing anything that includes sparks or open fires. A look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Unfortunately, not seeing any of this rain surviving into North Alabama. You'll notice over the last hour how all the lightning has dropped off and the storms are just quickly dissipating. Maybe a few sprinkles surviving to Jackson County, but I'm just not expecting much. So again, most staying dry here through the overnight hours and into your Tuesday morning. So let's take a look at future radar. You'll notice it actually did a pretty good job with that system making it down to the Alabama Tennessee state line before falling apart. This is 2 a.m. and we're just going to continue to see passing clouds with dry conditions all the way through tomorrow morning. And then as we warm things up into your Tuesday afternoon, passing clouds, but enough sun breaking through that we're going to make it back up to at least the mid 90s. Even a few spots could make a run at the upper 90s the next couple of days with a few pop up showers and storms, but nothing widespread. We had as your Wednesday again, another chance for some pop up showers and storms, but a lot of the storms over the next couple of days. They're going to be centered off to our north, closer to Middle Tennessee, because that is where a stationary front is sitting right now. That same front starts to move into North Alabama by Friday and into this weekend. But until then, again, another hot day for tomorrow. Highs in the mid 90s with those pop up shower and storm chances. Feels like forecast again. A few spots may make it up to around 105. 105 is actually the criteria for a heat advisory. We've seen a lot of those this summer. But if we stay just below it, again, not hot enough for that heat advisory to be issued. A look at the rainfall forecast. This goes through Thursday at 10 o'clock. You'll notice anywhere from a trace to a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall. We need it, but it's not much. But watch this as we enter Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See how the map fills in. You've got purples, you've got oranges and reds. Once you start to get into those reds, that's two and a half to three to three and a half inches of rainfall. Again, most of that coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that is, of course, much needed rainfall. Of course, we don't want it to ruin your weekend, but we need the rain. And you'll notice the rain just continues into your Saturday afternoon with more scattered showers and storms moving in by Sunday because that front that's off to our north right now will be dropping into North Alabama. Sunday forecast shows that drop in temperatures with that higher rain chance. And we are starting to slowly climb back up by Monday of next week, but again, a little bit of relief is on the way.